it's Betsy from Easy Peasy, and I wanted to talk to you about doing do-it-yourself uh, photo shoots with your toddlers. I love professional pictures, but we are not in a place where we're gonna go and spend the time or the money on professional pictures um, for every holiday, every birthday, um, you know, every season change. I wish, but that's just not what we have time for. Um, but they look so good. Oh my goodness, I love our professional pictures. They're just so much better than they were when I was young, you know, sitting in a photo, going to JCPenney's or like going to Olin Mills and everybody sit there and smile at the camera. And now they're just so much real and look so much more natural and so beautiful. Um, so I wanna talk to you about taking pictures of your kids um, by yourself, with your phone camera, with whatever camera you have, and specifically about doing a photo shoot with toddlers. Um, so I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old right now, and um, well, almost three and a half, and almost, they're a year and a half apart, so, and, and almost two, so that's where we are. And so here are my tips for taking pictures yourself of your toddlers, and um, and what I have found to be the best uh, to do with them to get some good pictures in the end, okay? Number one, do the pictures in the best time of day. Now, those there's tons of tips online for you know how to shoot and the lighting and things like that. Um, if you're gonna do outside, I would say morning or late, late afternoon, early evening, when the sun is not gonna be super bright and you're not gonna have super um, big shadows or a day that's a little overcast that's not gonna be really bad shadows um, or people squinting. If you're gonna do inside, um, you know, open up the windows, get some natural light in the room, and that'll help a lot. Uh, what I mean by time of day, though, with toddlers is choose a time where they are their best, where they're happy. Don't say, well, let's see, let's do it right before nap time. Let's do it right before dinner when they're going to be hungry and they're going to be grouchy. So um, for us, that means morning. This is when they play the best. This is when they're in the best mood. Um, and so we usually try and get pictures done in the morning. Um, because they're gonna laugh and they're gonna smile easier at that point. So know your kid, you know your kids, when is a good time for them if you wanna catch a good picture of them um, smiling, okay? Cause that's what you gotta do. You gotta catch it. It's not, they're most of the time not gonna give you a great smile. If they are smiling for the camera, most of the time at this age, it is not a natural, realis a realistic, real smile, I mean. Okay, so the next thing is, second tip would be do the group picture first. So if you have more than one kid um, and you want to do <clears throat> and you want to do them together, two kids, three kids, whatever, do that one first. Um, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're doing them in your backyard, you're doing your house, whatever the situation is, have them sit together, have them stand by each other, have them put their arm around each other, have that first before you try and do individual ones. The longer it takes, uh, the less likely they are gonna sit still and behave with their siblings. So do the group, group one first, and then you can try and get individual ones of each kid um, on their own after that part is over. So that's my second tip. The third one is let them play. You can snap really good pictures of them while they are playing, while they are running in circles, while they are pulling each other in the wagon, whatever it is, while they're climbing, while they're going down slides, try and find a way that you can take pictures while they are naturally playing because it's a lot easier to get them smiling and or interacting if there's more than one. So let them play, plan on that being part of it. Again, if you wanna do a pose picture where they're all sitting on a bench or where they're all standing by each other, um, do that first and then let, let them have fun and try and get your pictures while they're doing their fun time, okay? So that's the um, third tip. The fourth tip is set realistic expectations. I just took some pictures um, of my daughter, who's three, and my son, who's a year and a half, for Christmas. And my goal was to get one good picture of my daughter, one good picture of my son, and one good picture of them together. That's it. My goal of the 30 minutes that we spent was <laughs> to get, because they can't do much more than that, was to get three good pictures. I took probably 100 pictures, but to get three good pictures. So set your goal before you go. What is the goal? Um, and be realistic about it. You are not going to get, uh, you know, 35, 40 awesome pictures like you would for a professional photo shoot, unless you're professional. I am not professional. I should have prefaced it with that at the beginning of this video. I am an amateur. I have a camera. I have a phone. 
and I take pictures with those and I try and do the best with what I can. Come, sometimes I come out with really great pictures, sometimes I come out with three. I met my goal. I got three good pictures um, out of a lot. So be realistic with what it is and don't set your expectations or your hopes so high that you walk away frustrated or that you are going to try and push your kids so much. No, we need to do another one. No, look at the camera, look at the camera. I mean, after you said look at the camera five or six times to a 20 month old, it's time to move on. It's not going to happen. You know, like, okay, let him run around. Um, and so set reali realistic expectations is tip number four. Number five is know your kids and if you know they're not going to look at the camera they're not going to they're not going to sit still set up an area where they can sit so i have this picture of last year's christmas um, with my son who was nine months at the time and i put him in a box because i saw it somewhere online i thought it'd be cute i put him in a little christmas box and i got really cute pictures he couldn't crawl out of it now i had to do them very quickly because then he was trying to crawl out of it and then he was not happy and he was like because he wanted to get out so snap him really fast and then let him out um, but you know you can't put all kids in a box but you can use a wagon I can put both my kids in the wagon and they'll look at me for a couple minutes and then I have to pull them around and then I have to take a couple more pictures after that you can put um, if you have one kid that's a runner, you can have him sit in a swing and you can have the other kids stand beside him. You can, um, you know, sit anywhere where they can be kind of contained. Even if you just have a little stool and you tell them, go sit on the stool and you snap a picture really quick or they stand on the stool, um, that's fine. Or they pick up the stool and move it around. Again, these are natural things that kids do. So try and work with something that is going to keep them somewhat contained, a stool, a bench, a chair, a swing, a wagon, something that you can, even if it's a, a blanket on the ground and you say, okay, everybody go lay on the blanket, um, which is another picture that I got of my kids that turned out fine because they were laying on the blanket and singing a song. And so try and find something that will kind of give them a, a way to be contained um, versus just like everybody's running in the backyard playing or everybody's running at the beach playing or whatever. So somewhere to sit, stand, somewhere to be kind of contained is the next tip. Um, the next tip, number six, is to take a ton of pictures. And also, I've learned not to zoom in too much because you can always zoom in and crop it later. Um, so just take pictures of, you know, six feet away or wherever, a good distance, because you're not, you don't always know if, because you don't always know if there's gonna be something in the background or on the side or the sibling or something where, in the end when you're looking at it later on your computer or you go to crop it and you look and you're like actually this looks really cool with that in the background or I didn't catch um, her brother's face when she was doing this it's really cute of her but he's in the background doing something also and so I found that if I zoom in too close on their face also if I try and crop it and like oh I need this as a five by seven I need this as a four by six it, or I want it horizontal for the picture frame in my in my house instead of vertical it's better if it's not too zoomed in so take a ton of pictures because you can always delete them later we're in the digital world now and also don't zoom in too close because it might be a different layout than you originally intended when you were there taking the pictures that day so those are that's tip number six ton of pictures they're little you never know and more often than not I end up really loving ones that in that moment I didn't even think like oh these are these aren't going to be the greatest and then later I'm like oh actually this is a really cute one of her um, remember too that kids don't always have to be looking at the camera I have some really great photos and I'll show you some of them where I just took one of my daughter and she was climbing up this climbing wall thing on the playground um, we did pictures and then I let him go play on the playground and I think the one I like best is when she was playing on the playground and she was looking up but not directly at the camera and it's a really beautiful photo. Um, so remember that your kids don't have to be looking directly at you to get a good picture. They may be smiling and looking past you or looking at their sibling and that may be a picture that you love in the end. So take a bunch of pictures so that you can capture those moments and then later when you review them um, that you may find something that you really love that you didn't realize in the moment when you were taking the pictures. Um, so you don't always have to be looking at you. And then the last one is know your kids, know what's going to make them smile. So tip number seven is know what they're going to, you need to bring for them to play with, know if you need to bring snacks. Also know what makes them laugh. So I realized my son has this thing now where he likes to, if I'm sitting on the floor, 
he likes to come up behind me and kind of put his arms over my shoulders and lay on me. And if I rock back and forth like this, he just starts laughing and I roll and kind of do this. And so I'm like, you know, we can use that in the photos. This is what he thinks is hilarious right now. So if he does that to his sister, she's gonna do that and he is gonna be right here just laughing, laughing, and then that'll make her start laughing because I know her. And when he's laughing, she starts laughing. So I can use that and start snapping pictures at the time. Um, you know, what age are they at right now? What do they think is funny? Is it you making silly faces? Is it you playing peekaboo? Um, and and do that do that with them you know um, play peekaboo with them and take pictures or have one sibling do it and the other one or you know have one kid push the other kid on the swing whatever they are and they enjoy at this time of development or whatever makes them laugh use that um, also know their needs what how long they're gonna make it do you have 15 minutes to take pictures 30 minutes 45 minutes um, bring a snack you know all those little things so the more you can think okay what works for this kid and what's gonna get them um, to smile and to have good pictures um, and to in really what's gonna make them enjoy this experience because then you're gonna get good pictures out of it so um, have that mindset going into it and it'll make it a lot you'll end up with a lot better pictures than just stand over there and smile and look at the camera because that's not gonna work with toddlers it's not gonna work you're gonna get some pictures you might not want to show them to anybody but you'll get some pictures so those are my tips for um, do-it-yourself photo shoot with toddlers so I hope you have a great experience tell me your tips in the comments below what have you found useful um, do you do you set up a tripod do you you know get professional pictures do you what do you do what do you do with your kids um, what do you have you found helpful for your kids for taking pictures all right and at different ages too because I only have one and three right now so as I get older things are gonna be different so have a wonderful day have a blessed Christmas and I will see you tomorrow for another vlogmas bye everyone